If you want to install General Zira and play either single or multiplayer with the absolute best settings, then you came to the right place. First of all, you need to download and install a small app called EA App. Go to Google, type EA App Download, click the first link and press download. Save it to your desktop. Run the EXE and install the program. In this case, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it, but you, you will press install. Once installed, open it and log in if you already have an EA account. Otherwise, click create account, register and then log in. In this case, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in now. Once you're logged into the EA app, it should look like this. Now head over to browse. In the search bar, type command and conquer ultimate. You should then see an icon like this, which you can add to your basket. Click on the checkout button. Then complete the purchase and press pay now. The CNC Ultimate Collection that you just bought contains 10 different Command & Conquer games plus 7 expansion packs. Now from the main menu, click Library. Scroll down until you see Command & Conquer General Zero Hour and press Download. In this case, I already have it installed, so I'm just showing you by clicking on another game. So there is another way to get Command & Conquer Ultimate Collection and it may be cheaper. To check this, simply go to Google, type Command & Conquer Ultimate Collection CD Keys, then try to find the cheapest CD key you can online. However, some websites are not to be trusted, so I'll try to list some of the more trustworthy ones in the description and on the screen now. Right now, a lot of the cheap keys are out of stock, however, it's still worth checking because sometimes they can get as low as €5. Euros. If you do get a key this way, then go back to the EA app, go to Library, then press redeem code and you do this instead of buying it through the EA app. Just enter your code and press next. Now for some of you, the game may be already working just fine. However, a lot of you may also get errors like these when launching the game which can be easily fixed. To fix these, go back to Google and type in Gempatcher. Click the first link and download the EXE. Then extract the Gempatcher EXE. If you want to know more about what Gempatcher does, then you can read this README file or check the Gempatcher website. Run the EXE and install Gempatcher. If you get any errors like this one, just press yes or next to make sure that you can install it successfully. Once you've installed and opened Gempatcher, it should look like this. However, don't press anything yet because you need to turn off Windows real-time protection before you can apply any fixes. The reason you need to do this is because Windows is not going to like some of the stuff that Gempatcher is going to do to your PC. For example, editing the registry for the game within Windows. However, you can trust that this program is safe and it is only making changes for your game and a huge part of the Zero Hour community are already using this. So to turn off threat protection, go to the start menu, start typing virus, click virus and threat protection, click this manage settings button and ensure real time protection is turned off. You can always turn this back on later. Now you can go back to Gempatcher and click Apply Fixes. Let it do its thing and run the fixes. Once done, you can also click this button below for Install Gentool. Gentool is an amazing anti-cheat tool and all the pros use it. If you don't have Gentool, you'll get kicked from most lobbies. You can access Gentool in-game by pressing the Insert key. You can also click on additional content and install anything you want from here too. Some ones that I recommend are the new control bar and the world builder. I don't personally recommend the hotkey profiles, but you can do that if you want. There's also some cool maps under the maps tab. Otherwise, you can get all of my maps in my link on the description of this video. So at this stage, you could close this video and just start playing. However, if you want to copy some of my game settings and learn how to quickly find an online match, then you can stick around for this next part. One of the things I do is right click on my zero hour EXE and go to properties. At the end of the target path, what I'll do is type space dash win and then another space dash quick start. What this will do is make your game boot up slightly faster, replace the shell map with a static image, and also make your game boot in a window. The reason I play in windowed mode is because you can alt and tab from the game as many times as you like and it won't crash like normal. If you have a strong PC with a strong Nvidia graphics card and you want your game to look super crispy like on my videos, then you can go to desktop, right click, go to Nvidia control panel, select manage 3D settings, Click on program settings, find zero hour in the list or add it by using this button and browse into the EXE in your main directory. Then edit these four settings you see on the screen to match exactly as you see here. 
then go to zero hour go to options it's up to you if you want to copy anything on this screen but i do recommend that you copy most things on this screen and if you did enable those nvidia settings that i just showed you it's very important that you remember to disable heat effects if you do not disable heat effects then your screen will go entirely black when a microwave tank shows up if you're playing big games with hundreds and hundreds of units on the screen at once then one pro tip is that you can disable 3d shadows and reduce the particle count down to around 20 percent then you might find that your game crashes less especially on those aod's where there's hundreds of units everywhere but normally you can copy everything here if you plan to play online, I would recommend forwarding port 16,000 UDP in your router's settings. I won't go into the exact detail on how to do that right now because every router is different. However, you should be able to research this yourself. Basically, log into your router, find an area named port forwarding, and enter 16,000 UDP. Next, you'll need to make sure that Windows Firewall has zero hour added as an exception like this. Then you'll want to install a tiny program called Game Ranger. Go to Google. Enter Game Ranger Download. Click the first link. Download. Install Game Ranger. Register and log in. Now go to Edit. Click Options. Scroll down until you find CNC Generals Zero. Select it and press Browse. Find your install directory and make sure you select the folder called Launcher. Inside of there, select the General's EXE. Now with Game Ranger open, you should be able to join any game or create your own. To join a game, simply double click any room that does not have the green circle. To create a game, click host and wait for players to join before you press start. When either the host or you press start, Zero Hour will boot automatically and place you in a network lobby with the players all by itself. You won't need to press anything unless you get any prompts or errors asking do you wish to continue. Game Ranger is the easiest and quickest way to find any level games. If you also want Game Ranger to open in windowed mode and quick start, then make sure there's a text file called commandline.txt inside of your launcher folder inside of your main directory. However, there's also a tiny program called Radmin that enables you to play games at faster speeds. If you wish to play with Radmin, click the link in the description on how to do that. You can also find games in my Discord channel or the ZH Ladder Discord channel. I'll leave links to these in the description. Okay, so that's all guys. If you found this guide useful, please give it a like and leave a comment down below.